so we are ba 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 it's the new Canadian music video releases. It's your boy Friday Ricky Tread, aka Media Brick, and we're back with a list of hot new music videos. Now, before I start this video here, I need you to please subscribe, hit that subscription button, as well as the notification bell next to it so you know when we're dropping new videos, and we drop new videos every single day all right now this video that you're going to be seeing right here is going to be a list of all the new hot canadian music videos that have dropped within the last week 500 views and up and we need you the people to let us know who is going to be the number one track in canada this week all right so leave your comments below let us know who your favorite is and we'll be able to tabulate from there and let the people know on the world's most smoked out podcast on thursday morning on all listening platforms now the beat that you're hearing in the background right now that's courtesy of she racks on the beats all right make sure to hit him up on his instagram sheracks.mp3 all right it's gonna pop up on the bottom of the screen right there for you and he is one of the producers who are in the respect the process rap challenge all right we're still taking your submissions make sure to send your submissions to we love hip hop toronto at gmail.com and we'll be looking through them I and mean, then putting you up head to head against the next rapper so that the people could decide who goes on to the next round all right so send us a one minute video of you spitting your hottest hottest bars hashtag respect the process all right now at the end of this video here we're going to be talking about how everybody cheats okay um, i'm going to give you a little bit of a look behind the iron curtain behind the velvet rope to let you all know a little bit about the ways that people pad their numbers online whether it's on youtube whether it's on instagram any of the different social media platforms be aware that anybody out there whose music may seem lit or is lit is still buffering the numbers to some degree so you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out a little bit more on why everybody is cheating online all right but no more long talking let's get to these music videos new canadian music video releases let's go He filled it up with jugs, so fuck with my percentage. I want available funds. Get it? Going nowhere fast. Keep on talking, stop that. Show me how you do. Yeah. Boss nigga, I'ma get in a walk. Your nigga, I got the job. On the op, you let the shit go. Boss keep hungry. What were you when a nigga was for me? What were you when a nigga had no money? I'm speaking. You said that you love me, no, really, you tweaking. Eating. When I used to struggle, it wouldn't believe it Living on my lifestyle Tryna cut a big wreck, got a double up pack White teeth, dope boy, got a rest off Tryna rob me up, I check before My trap in the field We lurking, don't get killed My shooters, they gon' drill You know what's the deal We do Open for the demon, I suppose it Show these better, really love me, yo, she know I'm leaving No joking, we ballin' together Promise that we gon' Do this shit with ease Hit the gas now You cannot amount up to my speed Got my eyes chink a nigga That call for my dog who been hearing all the madness When cuz dropped, that was just the saddest I can't even tell you Baby, got my team, we going crazy Morning side, we on the daily, yeah I ain't with the game, so these hoes could never play And they don't me now But I don't hear a sound I don't hear a sound Cause they were talking on my name But they ain't never speak no fears I'm annoyed with the little things Little things bringing me joy Cut straight down to the point Safe looking seconds on roids That's that feel talk I don't speak no English, let that still talk My young niggas the ones that get you killed off I stay in the bank, cash out on my bitch with a rain They ain't catching no bodies, they sing No problem if you stay in your life What, what is up, yeah. that man is a must I say, what, what is up, where the mark The eggs bending it right fast The phrase is a straight cash, I'm sending it lame pass The fuck is a brake pad, I'm shredding it Kind of hard, scamming cars, yeah, we do them all Since young and I've been going hard All these bitches want love In the land, stolen many stay Some hold it with some pain They fold and hold it in, don't breathe don't Defense, what I pay for it Defense, 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 defense Nike top, new balance, kicks And she wanna eat my kids Wife and 
telling lies to get four more years. That's an eight for 45. Melanated millennial speaks. Say Tell I'm chilling in Vegas. Uh, bitches call my name, they be like, Baz, where the fuck you at? Just wanna fight chain. No one loves me, they won't put your all in it. I'll shoot first to step back. No, you can't guard this. Uh, no, you can't guard this. Say what you want because my money's. Ain't no other way. Ain't no other way. I'm smoking up today. We all dying anyway. All right, so let's get into our industry tips. And as promised, this week we're gonna be talking about how everybody cheats online. Now, what I mean by that is that when you see numbers of any artist, whether they be um, a 6 9 any of these artists out there who, are, who have hundreds of millions of views, millions of views, millions of followers on Instagram, all types of crazy numbers on all the different platforms, there's always some kind of cheat code involved, okay? Um, now to qualify myself for why I feel I'm able to, you know, give this type of information to y'all, the audience out there, um, I've worked in record companies since 2000, actually since 1999, you know, via street teams. Um, I've ran my own independent cross Canada street team and been contracted by companies like Sony Music as well as Warner Music Canada. You know, um, I've worked very closely with the marketing managers over at those different record companies. I've managed my own group um, as an artist manager and running my own record company since 2000. All right. So we've been definitely I've definitely been out there and definitely seen all the tricks of the trade. As, you know, I've had to hire publicists for my um, for my artists, for my group Empire, um, to, you know, online publicists. So big up to Muse that eventually evolved into a relationship that I had with a company called Coral Young um, Publicity, which did all of our online publicity from back in 2006, when Twitter was just hitting the streets and you know they were getting us on articles of different newspapers or different online articles and stuff like that um to 2012 2015 to 2015 when i worked closely with, um, with coral young to get my own personal music out to as many different online articles different social media pages okay and when you have a publicist they don't work for free you know publicists cost at the least 500 dollars a month Okay, and they help you to get your numbers up and get your visibility up. Okay, so in the end of the day, whether you're doing it through um, bots and under underhanding means, or you're doing it the, the straight up honest way, there's always some kind of money involved in getting your money, in getting your your views, and getting your your visibility up. Now it's a hard thing to break it to y'all that with most of these successful artists out there, that there is some kind of money involved into making their, their success or getting to their success faster. Or, you know, at no matter what, at some point in time, once you start getting involved with the corporate entities, that they start to pad your, your visibility with money, okay? It's, I'm, I'm sorry to have to break this to y'all. But for example, when you're making a hit song, it can cost up to $250,000, actually $250,000 or more to create a hit song on the radio, you know, number one song on Billboard, Okay, and it's worth the money because the return on investment on having a, a, a number one single, on having a hit song is millions of dollars. So $250,000 $250, is a drop in the bucket in, in, in turn to the amount of money that is made from having a hit song. But with things like payola not being legal, and just for the people who don't know what payola is, that's paying record companies, or sorry, paying radio stations to, pay, to play your music, okay? Playing, um, paying the DJs at the radio stations, paying the program directors at the radio stations to play your music and put it into the top 40 slot where you're hearing that person's hit song um, 10 times a day, that's illegal, okay? That doesn't happen anymore. It was something that was abolished back in the 60s, 70s, Okay, do your Googles to find out a little bit about, a little bit more about payola. However, payola still happens in a lot of different ways when it comes to these radio stations, whether it's paying people to call up the radio stations and say, yo, can you play that new song again? Can you play that new song again? Until, you know, they get enough requests where they feel that this song is lit. You know what I mean? There's different ways of paying for advertisers and paying for advertising spots with the radio station so that you have, you know, more of a favorable slot when it comes to your new song coming out. And all of the famous artists do it, okay? It's not a one singling out of any different artist or group of artists. It's something that any artist that you see at the top, even if they're not aware of it, their record company is doing it for them. Now, when you see music videos online, on YouTube and those different platforms like that. Let's talk more specifically about YouTube. 
most of the time when you start seeing videos that are in the high hundred thousands, high millions, you know, in the, especially when you start getting into the hundreds of millions, there's all there's different ways of making those numbers pad up and, 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 and fluff up, okay? So for example, there's Google Ads, you know, and there's other ways that people use fake views and bots to um, boost up their views so that you'll see a, a video that might have 300 views one day and then you turn back to that video the next day and there's like 50,000 views under it, okay? Now, like I said before, people can use two different methods. You can use the legal method or the, um, I guess, the, the more integral method by um, going through Google Ads, okay? However, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have organic views, okay? Google Ads will place your music video in front of different videos or different pieces of content that match your video, and the viewer has the choice to either watch your full music video or click through to what they were originally trying to watch, okay? It still gives you a view as long as they've watched past, let's say, about three seconds or so, However, it's not a full view, it's not an organic view, it's not gonna reflect in the engagement, um, i.e. the comments and the likes, it's just gonna be another view on the view count, okay? And then you got bots, you know, where it could be some guy in India who could only talk to you from his bathroom, um, you know, true story, um, and he's the one who's gonna be able to get you 50,000 views for $30 and 100,000 views for $80 and those crazy kind of numbers. However, when you start seeing the comments on Underneath and the video is about you know shooting at your ops but the comments underneath says this song great me love make love to this song you know that those are bots okay so you got to be aware of that you got to watch that you know there's a lot of people even unbeknownst to themselves sometimes that are you know tricking the system basically okay so when you see those views on music videos and you wonder why you got so much views on your music videos but there's only 15 likes and there's a hundred thousand views because they paid for it, okay? Now, when it comes to Instagram, a lot of the people that you see on Instagram, the quote unquote influencers, have paid to get more Instagram followers, okay? There's different ways of doing that as well, like I mentioned when it comes to YouTube, okay? You can use systems that will get you real followers or you can use systems that will get you bots that they're not necessarily real followers, they're just created pages that will follow your Instagram page. Okay. Now, when it comes to artists um, and it comes to a lot of people who have a million plus followers, when you're signed to a record label, a lot of the times, 98% of the times, the record company is going to come in there and they're going to put their systems on the back end of your Instagram and then make you get more followers. Okay. Whether you, the artist, know it or not, or you want it or not, the record company is going to come in there and they're going to make sure that you have the right amount of followers to match what their vision is for you to be a big artist, okay? So if you started off your, your rap career and you had 1,500 followers and a record company notices you and decides, okay, they're gonna sign you, guess who's gonna have 15,000 followers in the next week, okay? The same thing happens when it comes to the verification check mark. When you get signed to a record company, record companies will make sure to work their relationship that they have with people over at the Facebook offices, i.e. Instagram, and they'll get you that check mark no matter what your follower count is, okay? So, in the end of the day, what's the solution um, when it comes to working in a world where everybody is using steroids, okay? Um, where you're online, you're trying to get noticed, you got a lot of talent, but everybody is playing unfair or everybody's using some kind of systems to make their numbers look good. Okay, you gotta do a combination of both. You still gotta put the work in, you still gotta make sure that you have good music, okay? And you still gotta make sure to, to log on and sign up for all the different social media platforms that you feel that your music is gonna be able to make a difference and, and get engagement from. However, you still gotta you know, work through some of the tricks of the trade. I mentioned some of the more honest ways of doing things as far as getting the real followers, okay? There's real systems on each one of these different platforms as well as the fake systems that you can use. So you can use the real systems to try to push through the different, the, the amount of traffic that's out there in the social media and the Instagram, uh, sorry, the online world. You can also enlist a publicist that will help you to get through to different places that you're not able to get through to yourself, okay? Pub publicists will give unsolicited emails, okay? They're gonna be able to get through to a record company, they're gonna be able to get through to a magazine publication online, 
and send an email that that company already knows that person. They know that contact, so they're gonna answer that email and then that email is gonna be on behalf of you, okay? So it's worth the money to get a publicist that can do the right work, okay? Um, now, that's all I got for today as far as industry tips. Hopefully they were helpful. Let us know in the comments below if these if these were helpful, okay? If these com if these industry tips were helpful, let me know in the comments below by leaving me in this comment hashtag helpful, okay? Hashtag industry knowledge, all right? Okay, leave those two hashtags below so that I know that you watch this video all the way to the end, okay? Make sure, make sure to leave your votes for all the videos that we showed earlier in the montage so that we can know who's the number one video in Canada this week, all right? Make sure to follow me all across the board on all social media platforms at Friday Ricky Dread, that's D R E D, and make sure to hit us up website, the hub for all things we love hip hop, that's we love hip hop.ca. Same. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick, and I'm out.